Hey Sidequesters and welcome! OpenXR is amazing and today we're going to look at how you can create an XR game in Unity that works on both Pico 4 and Quest 2 in a single project thanks to OpenXR. OpenXR makes it so much easier for developers to support multiple devices and you can already take advantage of it. To begin you will need to grab the Pico OpenXR plugin from here, the link is added in the description of this video, simply download it and then extract it on your PC. First, we'll need to create a new Unity project. We'll be using Unity 2021.3.8f1, but this may work on earlier versions that also support OpenXR. In the new project, first, you'll need to install the XR plugin management. In the Windows tab, open Package Manager, and in the Packages tab, select Unity Registry. After the packages and features have loaded, scroll down until you see XR plugin management. Click on it and then hit Install. For Pico, use the Package Manager and select Add Package from Disk, and select the package.json file in the folder you extracted. Close the Project Manager window to start the installation. It may then ask you to restart Unity, so do that. It will take some time to load, just be patient. Next, you will need to create an XR rig in Unity. Under Game Objects and then XR, select Convert Main Camera to XR Rig, and add left and right hand objects. For this, we will use Capsules. Right-click on Camera Offset, select 3D Object, and then Capsule. Set scale to 0.1 in all three directions and duplicate the capsule to have a right hand and a left hand ones. You will also need to set the tracked pose driver for both right and left hand capsules as shown in the video. Choose generic XR controller for both and select the correct pose sources. After that, in Build Settings, swap to the Android Build platform and, after some loading time, click on Player Settings, configure OpenXR in the XR Plugin Management. You will have to auto-fix some OpenXR validation issues in the pop-up window. When you're done, add Oculus and Pico Touch Controller profiles one by one. Click on each of these profiles to auto-fix the issues. And after that, you're all set to build your app. Now you can build for both Pico and Quest in one single project and easily swap between these builds with a single checkbox. We hope that in the future we will be able to include both interaction profiles in a single build. Sadly, this is not available for now, but hopefully this tutorial helped you simplify the way you can build apps for both Pico and Quest 2. Thanks for watching and happy side questing!